basic program we have been given that uh, we have to find out the largest and the smallest number in an array of 32 numbers okay so it's not actually 32 numbers but um, we have been given with 32 bits okay so there are four numbers okay so we'll be uh, calculating the largest and the smallest among four numbers okay so let me give you a brief um, information about what happens in this code see if this is our array here now this is our array and we have the array address as 00 and 04, 08 and 12. 8 plus 4 is 12 but in uh, hexadecimal we will write as 0c. Okay. C's value is 12. Now this is our array here and what we are supposed to do is we will be calculating the um, highest and the smallest among these four. To do that I will be taking the first two numbers. See here. The first two numbers are 22 and 33. Okay, so I'll be taking 22 from here and writing here. So I have written here, and this is the first register which I'll call at, uh, which I'll call as R2, and this register is called as R3. Okay, you can take any register, and and make sure that the the first register which you take that should have the uh, largest number. First, we are finding out the largest among these four. So this register should have always the largest number. If it's not the largest, we'll transfer the um, the second number to the first number. Okay. So while comparison, uh, while comparing between 22 and 33, um, 33 is larger. So it should not have 22 here. It should be 33. So what I'll do is I'll erase 22 from here and I'll write 33 here. Okay. So this was our first iteration. In the first iteration, we'll take the first two numbers and compare. If it's larger, the first number is larger, we'll leave it uh, as it is. Or if it's smaller, then we'll transfer the second number to the first number. Okay. And this will be remaining unchanged. Now, how many times we'll perform this iteration? I'll be keeping a counter here. I'll call it as R5. In R5, how many items are there? Four items, right? So four times I'll be performing the iteration. Since one, uh, one time I have performed, I'll cut this and make as three. Now, in the next iteration, I'll be taking the next number. See, 22 and 33 are over. I'll take 44. And 44, I'll be transferring to R3. Always, I'll transfer the number to R3. Okay. The new number will be transferred to R3. Well, uh, after writing here R3, 44, we'll compare these two. Which is larger, 33 or 44? 44. 44 is larger, right? So, I'll be writing here, transferring the value of um, R3 to r2 so r2 will have the largest always okay so we have to make sure in each iteration r2 is largest so i'll cut this i'll cut this and make as 2 next the remaining number is 1 1 so i'll cut this and transfer here 1 1 and then i'll compare 44 with 11 44 is larger so we'll not do anything we'll keep it as it is okay so r2 has the largest number now among all of these okay when R5 reaches 1, we'll stop the iterations, okay? Till then, we'll have the largest value in R2, okay? So, we'll be transferring it to some address. I suppose the address is 1, 2, 3, okay? This is an address in memory location. So, 44 will be stored in this memory location. Then, we'll open up the um, memory address table and we'll be searching the memory location 1, 2, 3. And there, we can see the result 44, okay? There, it will be displayed the largest number, okay? So let's see how to do this in um, Keel micro software, okay? So let's go to Keel. This is the code here and click on save and build and run here. Now let's see uh, the code one by one. First, uh, the code starts from here, move R5 um, hash 4. That means move 4 in R5, okay? means um, I have considered here, right, this um, R5 register as the counter. So R5 will initially have 4, okay. Let's see here. After the first line, R5 becomes 4, then load R0 with A. What is A? A is nothing but this memory address, okay. 0x400. Let's see what this memory address has. It's empty initially, okay. So we'll keep it as it is. Then we will load R2 um, by what is pointed by R0. See, what is pointed by R0? 
R naught has this value. Okay, this value. And by using this value, what is pointed by this value? Nothing. So we'll uh, we can't load anything in R two. So we have to load some values initially here. Okay. So first I'll be loading um, two two. Then four memory locations from that I'll be loading three three. Then four memory locations from that four four and four memory locations from that one one. Now see what I have done is I have initialized the array here. If I show you here, we'll have four numbers here at the memory location zero, four, eight, and twelve. Okay. So this is nothing but this is the array which I have initialized. Two two at uh, position zero zero, three three at four, four four at eight, and uh, one one at c. Okay. After we have initialized this array, we'll be loading the values in the program. See here. After this point, R naught is zero x four zero zero means a s value is loaded in R naught. And after that, what is pointed by R naught should be loaded in R two. What is pointed by R naught? R naught is zero four zero zero, so it is pointing. Uh, so it has the value twenty two. That should be transferred in R two. So R two is here. Here the value should become twenty two. Okay. Now R two has twenty two here, and we'll move on to the next one. Add R naught comma hash four. That means four is added to R naught. Okay. R naught is um, zero zero, which is four zero zero, and if I add four, it will become four zero four. Okay. So what is pointed in um, four zero four? This is the value which is pointed in four zero four. See here, thirty three is pointed. So what I did first one, I stored twenty two in R two. See here, I had stored here twenty two first in R two, and then R three memory location will be stored in R three. Let's see how it is. See after that, um, R naught is zero four. Uh, R naught has thirty three value now. Okay, R naught has thirty three. That will be stored in R three. Okay, so let's do this. R three has thirty three now. Okay, R naught uh, value. What is pointed by R naught that is saved in R three. Okay, so um, in R three what we have thirty three and R two we have twenty two. Okay, so this is the case now. Um, R three has thirty three. Okay. R2 and R3 have uh, 22 and 33. Now we'll be comparing the R2 and R3 value, which is larger. If it's larger, branch to this um, branch to this loop. Okay. If it's larger, means if R2 is larger than R3, at that time we will branch, or else we will not branch. Is R2 larger than R3? Is 22 larger than 33? No. Then in that case, what we'll be doing is we'll be moving R3 to R2. Why we are doing? Because R2 should have the highest value. See here. We'll be comparing these both. If it's larger, we'll branch. If it's not larger, we'll not branch. And when we don't branch, what we'll be doing is we'll be moving the R3 value into R2. See here, this uh, this code will be skipped because R2 is not larger. So in the next uh, code, we'll be moving R3 value into R2. So R2 will have now 33. Okay. R2 will have 33 now. Okay. Then uh, we'll be moving on to the next uh, line of code. Which is subtract R five with one. Since one uh, one time we have performed, R five will become three. R five became three now, and we'll be moving on to the next one. Branch if not equal. When R five becomes one, at that time these both will become equal, and uh, at that time it will not branch to next. Till that time it will branch to next. Next means again start from here. Okay. So we'll load the next value here. Add uh, R not to four. What is R not value? R not is four. If I add four with four, it will become eight. Eight means it's pointing to which location? Forty-four. Okay. In the uh, in the memory location eight, we have four four. So now we'll load R not. Uh, what is pointed by R not to R three? Okay. So forty-four is being pointed. So R three will have forty-four now. And then we'll compare R two and R three. What is R two having? Thirty-three from the previous one. Remember? Now now R three has the new value. Forty-four, and the R two is R two's value was the previous one, which is thirty-three. We'll be comparing these both, and which is greater? If it's greater, means if R two is greater than R three, branch to large. Else, move R three to R two. It's not greater, so we'll not uh, branch to large. Uh, then uh, instead, we'll move R three to R two. Okay. So what does R three have? R three has forty-four. That will be moved to R two. So now R two will have the value forty-four.
next we'll be subtracting r5 with 1 so second iteration is over so r5 will have the value 2 now okay and r2 has uh, 44 from this statement okay and after that uh, when r5 is 2 we'll compare um, 2 and 1 it's not equal so we'll uh, branch to next okay so in the third iteration we'll add um, 4 with r0 so it will become c which means 12 and we'll be loading that value to r3 what does 12 have uh, 12 has this value 1 1 okay so that value will be loaded in r3 so r3 has 1 1 now and we'll be comparing r2 and r3 so let's see what's the case here r3 has the value 1 1 okay we'll be comparing r2 and r3 now in this case r2 is larger in the, all the previous cases it was smaller right in this case it is larger so we'll not be doing anything we'll be moving on uh, we'll be branching with large okay since r2 is larger we'll branch to large and what will large do large will subtract r5 with 1 so r5 will become 1 now okay why we did that because we need not move r3 to r2 because uh, r2 is already large right so we'll uh, not do anything to r2 we'll skip this statement for that we branch to large okay and then we'll compare r5, uh, r5 value which is 1 now with 1 it's equal so branch if not equal if it's equal don't branch so uh, that means we'll not branch to this since all the iterations are over and we'll move on to the next line of code load result in r1 what is result result is this memory location okay so this memory location will be stored in r1 that means in this location if we store r2 at that time we can see the result what does r2 have it has the largest number and we'll store that uh, we'll store that in the result pointed by r1 see here it's 44 here okay the same thing we'll be doing for the smallest also the code is all same just instead of um, bhi we'll be using bls okay bls is uh, bls means branch if it's smaller okay so in this case what we'll be doing if we will be branching uh, with r2 only in that case when it will be smaller okay if r2 has the smallest element at that time we'll be um, branching so let's make these changes here now everything is same i'll be initializing the values here the same values which were 2 2 now see all the memory uh, i have initialized the array here 2 2 3 3 4 4 and 1 1 now i'll be doing the same thing here let's see what's the difference initially r5 will become 4 see r5 has 4 so we'll be iterating 4 times and ace memory address is stored in r0 which is 4 0 0 and then i'll be loading what is in r002 r2 what is in r0 the memory location 400 it has the value 22 so 22 will be loaded in r2 so r2 has here 22 next we'll be adding r0 to 4 that means we are incrementing to the next location um, 33 and 33 value will be storing in r3 okay so now r3 has 33 here okay and then we'll be comparing r2 and r3 is r2 smallest see here we have to check the smallest now r2 should always have the smallest is r2 um smaller than um r3 yes it's smaller than r3 if it's smaller we'll branch to the small uh we'll branch to the loop named as small this loop will subtract r5 from 1 because r2 is smallest we need not move r3 to r2 r2 should have the smallest only always so we'll skip this statement move statement and move to the next one we'll subtract r5 with 1 now r5 will become 3 here and then we'll be doing the same thing and moving on to the next location so 44 will be stored in r3 and we'll, uh, then we'll be comparing 22 and 44 that's the same thing it will not um, execute this uh, line of code it will move on to the next one okay it will subtract r5 and the next one we have 11 one here so 11 one and 22 two will be compared since uh, 22 two is larger so at that time we'll not branch to small and we'll move r3 value in r2 what is r3 value it's 11 one. So when we move r3 value in r2 at that time r2 will have the smallest value which is 1 1 and then we'll subtract r5 so r5 will become 1 and we'll compare these both it becomes equal so we'll not move uh, branch to the next location see here we have the value 1 1 which is the smallest element among um, all of these okay so one thing only you have to change here um, if uh, you have to use bls if you have to find out the smallest or you have to use bhi okay for the largest 